What's up guys, my name's Stu, and today I'm going to be talking about torpedo builds and how I've modified mine to better suit engineering characters. Torpedo builds. They've been the meta in Star Trek Online for a while now, and I'll be shocked if that changes anytime soon. And as someone who plays an engineering character, that's been kind of annoying. This is because most engineering captain's abilities don't support torpedoes in any way whatsoever. Nady on inversion only helps energy weapon builds, miraculous repairs is just a big heal, and rotate shield frequencies is just useless. There's also EPS power transfer, which that's just a buff to your subsystem powers. It's not going to do anything for torpedoes, unless you're using onboard dilithium recrystallizer. If you watched my unlimited power build video, which I did on the inquiry, you've seen me talk about this trait before. Basically, this trait gives me bonus damage for every non-weapon subsystem I have maxed out anytime I use an engineering ability. Normally, torpedo damage isn't determined by your power levels, not like energy weapons are, but by adding this trait back into the mix, it brings power levels back into play, in a different way. Now, EPS power transfer alone isn't enough to get everything you can out of this trait, so to make up the difference, I've been using Enhanced Plasma Manifold along with those two liberated Borg duty officers to make up the difference. The downside to this build is that I need my auxiliary power where it is, so no aux to bat. That means I am entirely reliant on improved Photonic Officer for my bridge officer cooldowns. That means my starship traits look something like this. Fortunately, with Tier 6 X, I'm able to keep the must-haves like Ceaseless Momentum, ETM, and Subspatial Warheads. I can also keep Terran Goodbye for its crit chance buff, which, as a Federation Engineer, I am always in desperate need of. I've been wanting to work on this video for a while now, but as soon as I started to think about it, Cryptic announced the new Genesis bundle, which has the Tier 6 Oberth in it. Or, more importantly, the console that comes with the Tier 6 Oberth. The Face Space Membrane. This console gives you plus 20% bonus damage to your torpedoes every second it's active. With a full duration of 20 seconds, that's a potential of up to 400% bonus damage for your torpedoes. The drawback is that the console drains your auxiliary power by 20 every second, so once it hits zero, the console shuts off completely. So the trick is to keep your auxiliary power up while it's being drained. Fortunately for me, I already had a torpedo build that was reliant on power levels. The only change I needed to make to accommodate this console was to add a large auxiliary battery to the devices. That's it. I'm currently running this build on the Tier 6 X Legendary Walker, so adding another device really wasn't an issue. Speaking of the ship, that does bring me to the last thing I wanted to talk about, and that is I'm struggling to find a ship that is truly optimal for this build. The Legendary Walker is great, but it doesn't have quite everything I want. Mainly a Miracle Worker seat. The reason I need a Miracle Worker seat is because, remember those two liberated Borg duty officers I talked about? They both have secondary effects that trigger off of a Miracle Worker ability. So without at least one Miracle Worker ability, I'm not getting the full effectiveness out of those duty officers. Plus, Mixed Armament Synergy is a very powerful ability that would definitely help this build. I have scoured the wiki up and down, and I have determined that the exact ship that I want does not exist in the game currently. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably seen me rant about this in the past, and for those of you who are tired of hearing it, uh, I'm sorry. That's a lie. I'm not sorry. I will not rest until I get the ship I need. <laughs> what I'm hoping we eventually see is a command ship that's a battlecruiser, or preferably a warship, one that has a 5-3 weapons layout, a miracle worker seat that can fit mixed armament synergy, a science officer seat that can fit photonic officer, but doesn't give up too much tactical seating. It's not too much to ask for, right? And before you say anything, Augie, yeah, you, you're probably right. Command ship, probably better than America Worker ship. There are a couple ships in the game that come close to what I have in mind, uh, like the legendary Vorcha, but that doesn't have enough science seating to support Photonic Officer. There's the liberated Borg Juggernaut, but with how its specialization seating is laid out, I would have to sacrifice either too much science or too much tactical, so that's probably out too. Also, that thing's probably a nightmare to fly. Have you seen the size of that thing? There's also the Janeway, which, great ship, but it's a science ship. Really not what I'm trying to do. I'd probably have way too much science seating and not enough of the other two, plus not enough weapon slots, so yeah, that's out too. You know what I'd love to see? What I would really love to see? Legendary Akira Command Warship. How amazing would that be? You know, make it a command ship, make it a 5-3, give it the Miracle Worker seat so I can put mixed armament on it, you know, do all the other stuff I've been talking about. But yeah, it would be amazing because, you know, it's an Akira. 
it's never gonna happen though. I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming at this point. You know, assuming the ship I have in my head ever makes into the game, that's gonna be a promo ship, which I accept that. But you know what? I just, I just want, I just want it to be an Akira. That'd be cool. Like I said, it's a fantasy. Never gonna happen. Uh, anyway, uh, I talked about doing an ISC, so let's go watch that, and then we'll watch the parse. Six hundred and forty-five K. Honestly, that is better than I thought I would do on this. I am really impressed with that. My current ISE record is somewhere around 700K, and that was done on a 3-2 split run. So I think if I can get another 3-2 split run with this build, I could definitely beat my old record. Of course, if I had a miracle worker seat on this ship, I could probably do even better. Yeah, that's the build in action. Uh, I know this wasn't really a typical build video. It was more of a build discussion. Well, not so much of a discussion, but more of a just me ranting and fantasizing and kind of begging a bit. It's a weird video. Another big thanks to Trizander for setting up this ISC during his live stream. Uh, link to his channel down below. You should definitely give him a follow. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, all that YouTube stuff down below. I really do appreciate it. My name's Stu, and seriously, legendary Akira Command Warship.
be the coolest ship ever.